Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn different concepts of data science by practice. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code and try to walk you through and discuss how we can build the code right from the very basics. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, so this question on lead code is about duplicate emails. And before we go further, we can even see which of the companies these uh, this question was asked. So in last six months, okay, so last one year it has been asked in Microsoft. Okay, so let's go through the question and see what it is asking. So a table is given with two columns, ID and email, where ID is the primary key for this table. Also, it is mentioned that every row of this table contains an email and emails will not contain uppercase letters. So this is just uh, written to make our task easier. Okay, so it asks us to write a SQL query to report all the duplicate emails. Okay, uh, the result, the order of the result does not matter. And let us go through this example. Okay, so in this person table, we have two columns, ID and email. This is the primary key and email has various values, right? So obviously here, this email a at the rate b.com is being repeat, uh, repeated and this is what we are returning. Okay, so let's just think about it before jumping into the query. So what do we need to do is try to find out the emails which are repeated right so which are repeated we can also say in another way saying that if an email is more occurring more than once in this table then we need to return it right so how can we get how many times a, a particular email is uh, occurring in a in a table so yeah you guess is right it, it is we need to use group by Okay, so let's uh, start with it. So from this table called person. And if you guys want to know why I always start my query from uh, the keyword from rather than the select like you can watch the previous two videos I have explained in detail and how it makes our task easier. So from this table person. What do we need to do? We need to group by the column email okay so just think about this so what does this what will this do so for each of these different or distinct values of email it will make groups right now we need to only return where we have email or the count of the email more than one now here comes what we need to know so there are two ways we can filter things in SQL. One is by using where clause and the other one is called having clause, right? But there is a difference between where and having. So in this case, since we need to find out or we need to filter based on some aggregated value, right so it is not based on one column or not based on greater than equal to sign here we need to filter based on an aggregated value so in such cases we need to use having rather that rather than where so here we would be doing having and what what should we return so any email which is duplicate so basically occurring more than once so basically occurring more than once means having the count greater than one, right? So having count of distinct IDs greater than one. Now here, since ID is a primary key, so obviously it is going to be unique values and non-null values. So even if we don't write distinct, it won't matter. But the reason why I'm writing it because like in this particular question, since it is mentioned ID is a primary key, then obviously we won't be having problem. But 
usually in real life you would be uh, trying to find out or filtering on columns which we which you don't know whether it is a primary key or not so having that distinct uh, like the practice of writing distinct right from the beginning is very beneficial okay so now what does these three lines of code do so from this table it groups by email and then only keeps those rows or those emails who are occurring more than once okay and then finally what do we need to output the email so we just select email so this is how it, this question can be answered let's go ahead and run this code and see what happens okay so this is accepted there is no difference between what is expected and what my output is so we can go ahead and submit it and yeah it is submitted and it took 366 microseconds to run let me know guys how did you find this video if you found it useful should i go into more depth or include more questions per video let me know and See you guys in the next video.